Hello, thank you for joining me. I am at Slough Station today on the old footbridge, looking towards London. You can see the new footbridge, and um, just somewhere over there is the Winter Branch, which we're not doing today. What we're going to do today is we're going to go to have a look at the new station buildings at West Drayton and Southall, because both stations have had completely new ticket offices built along the side as part of Crossrail. So I thought we'd go and have a look at them. So I'm going to go down onto the platform and wait for my train towards London. While we wait for our train towards London, there's something at Slough I just thought I would quickly show you. Well, actually two things, um, as soon as we're down here. Five platforms at Slough, platform five. There used to be platform six up until a few years ago. I don't think I ever remember seeing a train in it, but it used to be very useful if a steam special came in. It would pull in on this platform you could walk down to the end because the platform was on this side and um, you'll be ahead of it to watch it pull out but now the platforms are so long anyway you can um, as you'll see in some of my previous videos if you go down to the end of the platform you're usually ahead of the train pulling out and um, there's the new footbridge but the thing I think is a really nice thing that I'd like to show you is um, this dog this dog is called Jim or he was, he's stuffed here, known as Station Jim. And if you look on him, he has these little um, money boxes. So what he would do, he'd run around the platform here at Slough, collecting money, which I think was um, a really cool thing. It'd go for the Railway Widows Fund and the Railway Orphanage Fund. And you can, he still collects money. Uh, my hands are full, but perhaps when I've done this, um, I can put a few coins in there for for the fund so it still collects even though it's not a live dog there was i think it was one easter or maybe it was christmas or at some point the bbc did a um i think it was the bbc apologies if it wasn't might have been one of the other channels someone made a nice film called station jim all filmed on the bluebell and it was based on the adventures of this gym and there was a little blonde boy in it called henry who liked trains so um yeah a bit of a similarities there but anyway that station gym. So if you ever come here, do do you know if you have any spare change, just put it in there. I'm now going to wait for my train towards London, and um, let's go and have a look at some new station ticket offices. the M25 we just passed under so we are now on our way that's a good loop that bit of track beside us so I don't know if passenger trains ever travel on it but if they do it goes around the back of either station so we're on our way towards West Strait and what we'll do soon is um, it's quite an interesting station West Strait because it was formerly the junction for the lines to Staines and to Uxbridge now they both left the Great Western Main Line on this side, on the north side of the track, but the line to Staines burrowed underneath the Great Western Main Line, which you probably might catch a glimpse of soon. It's, there it is. I expect you didn't see that because it was so quick. One day I'll have to do a video on the old um, Staines West Branch, but it basically does a loop behind this um, gravel or aggregate terminal. So we're going to get off now at West Strait, and so I'll be able to show you where the the junction platform was. I did actually once, um, I've been down there as far as you can go when they once ran a class 150 down the branch which was good fun so I have done that bit of track but um, I've got line to Uxbridge, Vine Street, I've only done the track bed on foot but if you want to have a look at my last stations of Uxbridge video have a look at Lincoln Street now. So anyway we're coming into West Strayton, West Strayton High Street and um, well, at least I think that's where it's straight in High Street, correct me if I'm wrong. So let's go and have a look at the new layout of the station because I know it's going to have changed a fair bit since I was last here. I don't even know if I've been here since um, the line was electrified. So here we are. So some of the old station buildings are still standing, which is, is good. There's a new station footbridge. And previously there was only a um, subway, so it'd be interesting to see how the station has changed, so get off the train, we can see what's going on. There we go. So, 
we step off the train here. Now, if we go this way, the only way out the station is that way, I just want to show you the old um, bay platform, which interestingly, they seem to have restored platform five. So this is platform five here. So this is where you could have once got a train to Uxbridge and Staines West. And the Grand Union Canal is just there. So anyone watching, What's the reason for restoring this platform? I mean, it's great, it's great to see. It goes quite a long way that way, so my guess is that possibly a train could terminate here or a train could overtake other trains here. Um, I'm not too sure, but nonetheless it's great. Maybe one day they'll do another excursion down, down the branch as far as you can go, um, which would be quite fun to do one day. So there goes our crossrail train, a class 345. Now let's go and have a look around the new station. I think this sign's temporary. Uh, stations like Taplow, they've now got full-on TFL um, station signs. So it's a new thing for this station to have a footbridge. Interestingly, it only goes over the old Staines and Uxbridge Bay, the slow lines. It doesn't actually go over the fast lines. So um, let's, have, let's have a look, see what we see. And um, so there's all, you can see they're still constructing various waiting shelters so what I'll do first is I'll show you the remnants of the old station before we go looking well I said that let's just have a quick look interestingly I don't think you can see just down there there's like a London, London roundel well, that seems a funny place to put one so the new ticket office is down there and we'll go down here and have a look so there was a subway as I said which you'd have access to see via this building here and um, my, what I'm intrigued to do, and we're going to find out, is, is the back entrance still there? Or can you even get out? It looks like, I can see on that side, it just says waiting room. So I assume they've closed off the stairs down there. So it doesn't look like there's a lot more to see this way. So what we'll do, we'll go up and have a look at the new station footbridge. And then um, we'll go out the station and have a look around and then we'll come back into the station and we'll go to Southall. So that's the plan for today. Let's go in the lift for a bit of fun. Is the lift working? Here it comes. Platform level. Platform level. Bridge level. So here we are at the footbridge level. I assume the station is now fully step free because previously well, it wasn't. So we'll um just have a quick look. So this is the new footbridge. You see the views you get. So, as I said, the subway would have been down there. Well, there's a 800 speeding through on a crack express. Yes, there was a pun intended there. That's looking towards the West Country. So we're going to go down. You can see the new bit of um, station canopy they've put because they took all the old canopies down when the Great Western Main Line was electrified. So let's go and see what we can find downstairs. So let's see what we find. So we are now going over the old um, Uxbridge platforms, which I said about. So if you look that way, see a bit more of the station down there. So yeah, it seems fun to think you could once get a train from there to Uxbridge. Always oh, a good train coming through. Let's just see that. It's quite a good place, it's quite a good view. Sixty-six oh one nine on um, some sort of aggregate train, possibly to do with the construction of HS two. Right, we'll get down here and we'll have a look at the um, steps. The uh, uh, new ticket barrier wants to go down the steps. So as we come down here, we'll be able to see um, where the old station is as well. So this is the new station ticket office, which we can see here. So um, yeah, it's got ticket barriers now. Six of them. I have a bit of a thing. I don't know if it's just me being a bit weird. I always have to count the ticket barriers. Anyway, and then that's where you go for the lift. So let's go out the station and uh, we'll see what we can find once we get outside. So at the moment we're in the new station building. If we go through here, see where it says tickets. This is the old station building. Now interestingly, it looks like what they've done, the subway, they've kept outside the ticket barriers. So let's just move up and see what we can see. So this is the old ticket office here. 
around the same way straight in. and come out the front of the station. As you can see, it's still not all quite finished, so old, new. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take you back in to the new and we'll go through the subway, come out the other side, and then I'll come round. There'll be time for me to go back inside and we'll continue with our journey. Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Um, so we'll go down here. This is interesting, look, it says platform access closed. So it looks like this is purely just a subway now under the railway, no access to the station. You can just see the old Oyster card readers covered up and um, that probably was the way up to the platforms. Uh, so yeah, and then we go through here. Again, old Oyster card readers covered up. And then we shall um, go out the station. And um, that's interesting, look, it says platform one up there but how do you get to it now maybe if a train was ever to stop there they'd open those doors i'm not sure because the bridge doesn't cover platform one anyway we're now at the back of west station station what i'm going to do now i'm going to go back onto the platform catch a train to southall we'll see the changes there GWR train now. I don't actually have to wear a face covering on this one because it's not TFL, but the reason I am is because when I step onto the platform it's going to be awkward to put it on, on camera. It's very easy to take them off on camera, and um, as Hayden Harlington is a TFL station, I will need to wear one. So as soon as we get off the train, I'll explain it to the And I nearly dropped the camera there. So, what happened was, um, oh, we have another bay platform. Um, my plan had been to get another crossrail train to Southpool but seeing as this came in I thought I'd go on it anyway and um, I might get to Southpool slightly earlier because if a crossrail train from Heathrow Airport comes along then um, we can get that but since we're here we can have a look at the changes here because this station I wasn't actually planning to look at the changes here because um, I don't think they're quite finished but we're here so you know why not we're gonna have to wait I should think at least 10 minutes. So the units I've just come on, I've just come on 387, 164, 150. Both of which I have traveled on before. So um, they're not winning units. So I have some time now to wait for a train. So as I said, let's see what's going on here. So previously this station, West Straighton and Southall, none of them had ticket barriers, but I'm not sure if Hazen Harlington has of yet, but it probably will by the time the work's finished. I can see a big new building being constructed. And there's another footbridge that only covers between the two slow line platforms. Um, so the only stations on this line between here and Reading not to have ticket barriers, I should think now, are, you, are Hanwell, because I don't think Hanwell's getting them. Taplow's got them now. I don't think Burnham's going to get them because it's very awkward the way Burnham Station is laid out to put them in, but you never know, they might do a major change. And um, where's the other one? Twyford hasn't got them. So um, yeah, there's the station footbridge. It's coned off, so it looks like we can't go over it, but it looks like, um, there's nothing on that side so you can't go over it, but it looks like you come into the station. If you want to travel out of London, you go over this footbridge, which possibly is a temporary footbridge. I'm not too sure about that. So uh, let's have a look. So there was a nice old GWR station building here, which unfortunately was demolished in the way of progress. Uh, let's have a look. And um, so there are platforms still on the fast lines, but whether they're ever used, I don't know. So this is the new footbridge. Oh, no, this is interesting. So it looks like there's no way out over there, but here it says way out via platform to platform one. So let's go up here. This may well be the last time that we ever go up these steps because I think this will be closed off soon and um, I'll have to come back perhaps when it's finished and see what the new layout is like. So yeah, this is um, compared to what we saw at West Straighton, it's very narrow and cramped. So as we come up here, come out the station. Um, so this is the old station ticket office. So we come out here, possibly be the last time I ever go out of there, except in a minute when I go back in. So that's the old front of Hayes and Harlington station. So the railway line is 
beneath us. If we look over here, you can see the new station footbridge. Let's just kind of look with it. Let's have a look at the new station ticket office because um, we use the wind. I'll take this off now because I'm outside, I'm not in TFL's territory anymore. Look at that, that's the new station. Sorry if you can't hear me, I know it's getting windy, but that is the new Hayes and Harlington station. So next time I come here, we'll probably be going in there to catch a train. What we're going to do now though is, in a minute, I just can't get out the wind. That's the new station, I'm going to head back and catch a train to South. So here we are down the London end of South Hall Station, so that way is looking towards the West Country. Just see over there the old um, steam water tower and the old steam shed that's now used by West Coast Railways. I can just make out some Mark 1s and a Mark 3 sleeper carriage. So if you ever go on a train to London, do always look out there because sometimes you'll see steam engines such as Mayflower, occasionally flying Scotsman and um, whatever other loco happens to be in the London area working rail tours. It used to be a railway centre. There was a group called the Great Western Preservation Society who um, no longer exists but used to be able to go and visit it like you could railway centres at Didcot and um, Quaint and etc. But I never went there. Um, I always wish I did but I never did go there. So here is um, rather interesting. There's a bridge to nowhere. It's got no stairs either side. So it must be part of some new public right of way. Over there is the old Brentford platform. So the Brentford line went off behind the water tower. In fact, it still does go behind the water tower. It still does go to Brentford. Used for rubbish trains, um, various other trains, all good. Um, they did, a few years ago, they ran the Great Western's rail motor number 93 down there, but the ticket sold out very quickly and I didn't get a chance to do that. But maybe, you know, in the future they will. Um, but there is a rather interesting feature down there called the Free Bridges, where the railway goes under the canal and the road goes over the canal where the canal goes over the railway. Have a look at link on screen now, you see a video of a train passing under there. Another interesting thing about Southall is it's one of very few stations to have bilingual signs. Um, this is in Punjab. The other stations I can think of, well obviously there's all the Welsh stations. If you go up to Newcastle on the Tyne and Weir Metro, there's Wall's End Station, which um, is written in English and Latin, believe it or not, because it's the site of the end of Hadrian's Wall. So this is what we come to see. It's a new station building here. And there's a car station. Two of them actually. Two class 800s. I much prefer the HSTs, um, but you know, they're here to stay, love them or hate them. Anyway, um, so this is the new station footbridge. And uh, pulling in now is a um, crossrail train, a class 345. So uh, yeah, they're they're the trains that work the local services, but you also do get some Great Western trains. I'm not sure if any stop at Southall, but they still some stop at Slough, and they obviously stop at Hayes and Harlington because we went on one. So, now how on earth do we get out? Okay, so the bridge, interestingly, comes up here, goes right above all the platforms, so I've got a bit of a walk. Um, I see, so this is the old, nice bit of canopy they have kept. It looks like we go up here, and put a hole through the canopy, we go up here, and then we'll be on the bridge. If we have a look that way, you can just see the old ticket office, which I believe is being retained, even though I can already see at the end of the platform, it is all fenced off, so we can't actually go out there. Let's, um, if we go in the lift, the lift's down the platform. Let's go in the lift up to this new footbridge, so we can see. So, footbridge level, it's got to the footbridge. So, that's the way you would go around if you were walking. So the ticket office must be that way, but I want to look at the bridge first. So I thought we'd go in the lift. Footbridge level. Here we are, the footbridge level. So what, let's have a look. Doors opening. There we go, so way out is that way. There's a sign quite clearly states. If we go this way, and um, have a look around here. So we're just, um, as I said, we're, it's an L-shaped bridge, so we're on that L-shaped 
right now. Um, so way out, way onto the platforms. There's that bridge you can't get onto. There's that crossrail train just pulled in. It looks as though the bridge, there's another 800 speeding through. It looks as though the bridge to the fast line is, um, well, we can't go over there. So we're not going over there. So let's just go, whether you will be able to, we'll go as far as we can go. There's the old uh, Brentford platform. You can see the old ticket office, which I believe has been retained. Oh, look at this. I can just in the distance, it's very hard to see. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stop filming in a second and I'm going to zoom right in my camera, take a picture. Still very small, I know, but I could just see Mayflower and the West Coast Railways Class 47. So um, that is where Mayflower's based when she's working in and out of London. If you lived in those new flats they're building, um, you get a, certainly get a great view of the railway lines. I'm not sure if it'd be, it's a bit um, too inner city for me. I prefer living out in the countryside, but I do love coming into the city. So it probably isn't my idea of place to live, but I'd certainly love, love the views you'd get from, from there. Now, let's uh, go. So we can sound this really long corridor, so it's easy to show you now, because there's not so many commuters. To the platforms, or to the uh, down platform, and then this way takes us out the front. So we'll go out the front, and then I will have concluded my little adventure to see some new station buildings. Um, we did see at Acton Mainline how they've built a similar new, although not quite as long corridor up in the sky as this, although when I say we're up in the sky, we actually come out at ground level. Um, so Acton Mainline's got a new corridor, so if you want to have a look at that, have a look at the link on screen now. That's the seven railway stations of Acton. Um, interestingly, it seem very temporary. They're made of coral flute. So eastbound South Hall to Paddington, westbound platform three, right down there, goes to Reading and Heathrow Airport. Right, this um, one final bit to do just to go out the station. So we'll have a look at the old and new ticket offices. So you can see the old ticket office just there. And now we're just about to go out through the ticket barriers. And that will be um, the end of this little video. So here we are, this is the new station building just here. So let's go now. So we have now come out of the new station building at Southall. So you can see the new ticket office. Welcome to Southall. Let's go out here and uh, see what we can see. Still a bit of road work going on. But if you look here, I can take this off now. We're outside. So that's the new ticket office. There's the bridge we just walked along there. And we'll just go, we'll just go and have a look at the old station ticket office. And then I shall go off on my walk and perhaps I'll go for a walk along the canal. I haven't quite decided yet, um, but we'll, that kind of concludes today's little um, look at how the Great Western Main Line is changing. Interestingly, the old station building, it's always been on a bit of a skew. It's like, um, yeah, look, there's a load of signs saying new station entrance. See how it's no right angles. It's like it's sort of almost been squashed. So yeah, new station entrance, new station entrance. Um, and this one is all, all closed up. So um, let's just go fast here. I want to go across the road so you can see it, but I'll have to wait for the lights to change. Let's just have a look. Put it down here to see the old Brentford. Yeah, so that is the old Brentford platform. So one day I'll do a video on that line. We obviously can't walk it because it is still an operational railway, but there's quite a few places we should be able to go and have a look. So as we come across, the um, crossing at Southall give you one last look at the old station which I hope is staying with a new station over there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from Southall, goodbye.